and here we are. The jester of the court has a new suggestion for the king. King, are you ready to hear my speech? I am. Today, I would recommend a new squireship to the court and suggest that Sir Thumper becomes the leader of the new squire. Do you accept this uh, suggestion from your court jester, sir? I suggest this suggestion. I accept it too. <laughs> sir Thumper, please stand up. Why not stand up? Sir Thumper, do you hereby accept to mentor, to guide, and to be a good hiking buddy to why not? I do. I accept you as my squire with with uh, excitement and uh, anticipation of your uh, abilities. Will you promise to uh, uh, be nice and kind and generous? Generous with trail magic to me. <laughs> I do. Okay, I accept you. Yada, yada, yada. Right, more bags of okay, good. <laughs> Congratulations there, Squire. Why not? Yay! The fellowship of today is now closed. Good day, everybody. Here's the uh, first interview from our uh, fellowship. This is uh, Phoenix from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and she's going to talk about a brief description of her experience from Amicalado Falls to Neil Gaff. So, give us a sit rep. Okay, uh, I'm not going to lie, they had me in the first half. The, the stairs going up to Amicalado were not easy and made me want to quit, but I did not. I met some Canadians and oh, and a, a Minnesotan, and they made me feel better. And I made it all the way from Ampola to Neils with a little bit of rain, but a whole lot of trail magic. I had beer almost every night. It was chili dogs and coffee and pies and grilled cheese. Oh my god, I didn't even eat like half the food that I packed out there because I thought it was so generous and awesome. But um, and then I was also given Chow Magic by my fellow hikers, Candy in particular. Um, but yeah, it was it was great. The rain kind of rain kind of put a damper on it, but all the greatness that happened kind of overtook. And uh, after this uh, little break. You've uh, rec you've, you've done some stuff on your pack. Yes, I did. I um, I got a liner, and I've kind of redid the way I have the inside set up, and more importantly, uh, the manager up at the uh, Mountain Crossings place did a, a re refitting for me, and it's so much better. And he is a godsend for that one. And last question. For the upcoming 2021 through hikers any advice? Um, one don't piece. have a way out. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Anyways, that's Phoenix from Louisiana. Thank you very much. Okay, here we have Thumper. And Thumper, tell us about your last four to five days here from well, Amicola Falls to Neil Gap. Well, it's it's the third time. So third time's a charm. So uh, the the beautiful thing was uh, it was the best weather for the uh, approach trail. Uh, the first year we had, it was kind of misty. The second year it was frosty and this year it was sunny. So that was great. And uh, the next day was pretty good too. And then we had rain the day after that. And we were hoping to make it to Lance Creek, but we got to Woody Gap and they had trail magic. And that was heavenly. Uh, Goose Gap uh, Shelter, by the way, was a zoo. People pouring in there and not wanting to leave. Yeah, so we had lunch there, didn't we? Yeah, it's a good thing we got out of there. And I was amazed how fast we just blew by Lance Creek the next, do the next day. I thought it was Justice Creek, it came up so fast. So we, we made it to Blood Mountain. And uh, I believe the sun was starting to peek out again a bit. It, it, it wasn't raining anymore anyway. So we got here 
and uh, yeah, I was happy. Yeah, and uh, we got a cabin because of uh, King John. Uh, no worries, who here, here. Uh, booked us here. And uh, yeah, five of us in here, it was, it, was, it was comfortable. It was a nice stay. In fact, it was the stay here is so nice. I'm gonna linger when everyone's gone. Again. Have a nice poo, shower, and shave. And I might go just pop over the thing and just see how the internet is. But I'll, uh, I'm out of here at checkup time. You did that? That's his third or second time? Second time. We didn't stay here, though. Yeah. We blew by here, though. We, we pulled up. A Darwin. <laughs> I just stopped here briefly last time and uh, and went on. Yeah, oh, that, it was about four hours stop. Yeah, those are 12, day, 12 all days out of year. Yeah, and didn't have to start charge everything and uh, talk to Misty and have a meal. And I kind of thought the uh, 12 mile days last year were easy. I thought, I thought the hike. Well, here. you know what? I was thinking of a theory. And and say say you say you can do 20 miles a day. Okay, here's the theory. If you have two people though. You're only going to do 18 miles, right? Drop 10%. And that person who is hurting, the, the one who's slower, if you have if you have five people, then drop 10% of each person, then you're only going to do 10 miles a day. And that last person is hurting. Okay? So that's there's my theory. There you have it. And there's Sir Thumper's thoughts on his last four to five days. Okay, here we have No Worries from Minnesota. And also van life so tell us about your experiences from amicola falls to neil's gap i tell you what <laughs> this year i actually did the approach trail i skipped the stairs uh so it, it was a little different um not bad the first day went pretty good it was nice to have a tramway so early this time actually um the bonding was was much earlier than last year but uh, a lot of fun fought through some rain wasn't a downpour and it felt good to get through the first embrace and suck situation. Good time. And you did you make any changes to your gear at this stop? Uh, let's see, on gear I did not. I did lose my very nice trowel. I'm keeping my junky one. So I did not make any gear changes. And do you have any advice to next year's through hikers for this part of the section? That's a fantastic question. I say the biggest thing is fight through the rain. Keep going, smile, be nice to the other hikers, and you're, you'll find your group and, and you'll smash it, man. You've got this. You've got it. Thank you very much. And that is Wrong Way from Minnesota. Wrong way.